Hi, this is Dee with Divine Needle doing an Age of Aquarius Spiritual Path Tarot reading for July the 22nd, which would be day 33, Age of Aquarius. So, for Wednesday, right? <laughs> uh, when I was meditating, I saw a upside down triangle. Um, And it was like very 3D-ish, um, had something in the middle, and the whole scene, the whole thing was um, kind of a green and blue tealish kind of um, in color, and it was just from the center, there was something in the center, I couldn't make out what it was, but it was like, it almost felt like a heartbeat going on, it was like a throbbing, pulsating um, energy coming from it. It was really cool looking. I'm not sure what it meant exactly, but it was pretty cool. But, <laughs> anyway, so, um, <clears throat> and I did hear uh, telepathy, um, those of you in uh, Twin Flame Partnerships, to um, remember that there are those out there that will do anything and everything to tear you apart and so protect yourselves that's why that golden shield and ivory shield were coming up in the readings <coughs> is you all need to protect yourselves okay um, and please know that there, there's people and things that would love nothing more than to see you guys not be successful so keep that in mind um, protect each other all right anyway let's look at the energy for wednesday day 33 interesting number day 33 overall energy for day Okay, we've got a one and a two of wands. Sacred fire and the discerning one. So, ace of scepters, two of scepters. For the overall energy tomorrow. What is our highest priority for all the devas? Earthbound. What is our highest priority? cards in the holy sea all right and what do we need to be mindful of and prepare for what do we need to be mindful of and prepare for Bottom of the deck, the kindred, three chalices. Very nice. That's a good one to have. Mindful of and prepare for. Look at that. You can't make that up. I just said, 
these two cards. Let me show you something. This is a card of water signs, right? This is a card of fire signs. I guarantee you who these two cards are. Gabriel, Scorpio, Adonai, Leo. Okay? These have come out three times in a row now. You can't make that up. And I just got done mentioning them before we even started the shuffle. Because they appeared in two readings. This is the third. They're protecting you guys. Okay? Can't make that up. <laughs> That's just crazy. And the force. Strength cover. Wow. Okay. Fascinating reading. Looks like a good one. All right, let's dig into this. <clears throat> Celebrating, oh, three swords right under that. Okay, the kindred. Celebrating with those you love. The three stars inside the sun, just like the three pentacles on my left hand. Also, um, the three stars on the flag of Washington, D.C. <laughs> and the goddess motif going on here on the shoulders um the triple goddess um by the way one of those is named nemesis fyi uh also the name of one of the ships but anyway um so we, we'll get to the kindred which is three of chalices <clears throat> wow you just can't even make that up just can't mm -mm. <laughs> here we go the kindred is the spirit of affinity within a tribe that's us this is the abundance and love, camaraderie, and the prophecy of Jubilee to come. A personal zenith point is reached in your community relations. This spirit also appears when you need a reminder to tend to familial and tribal relations that matter to you the most. So spend time with those like us. I keep wanting to do videos where I go, come up to the mic like this and go, Are you awake? <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Spending time with those you cherish and camaraderie, right? Overall energy tomorrow. <clears throat> That's an underlying energy. Overall, sacred fire, ace of scepters, the awakening. <laughs> That's funny, because <laughs> I just got done leaning up to the camera and saying that. I, would, I wasn't even thinking about this card <laughs> and the awakening. Yeah. Are you awake yet? <laughs> I love it. A switch inside you has turned on your creativity, productivity, and ingenuity. Fire is alchemizing in your world, materializing as a creative project, an innovative new venture, entrepreneurship, or the spark of inspiration for a passion project. This is also a new direction in career development. This is the awakening stage of your path. <laughs> Sacred fire. <sighs> okay. We go from the one to the two. The discerning one, and yeah, that's what, another thing I wanted to tell you guys in the beginning um, when I mentioned these shield cards, because after I did the reading yesterday, I was like, oh my gosh, that's Gabriel and Adonai protecting everybody. That's what those shields are about. It's fire and water, right? And that's Scorpio, Leo, Gabriel, Adonai, right? Anyway, and I was going to tell you guys to use your intuition and discernment. Be very careful who you associate yourselves with during this time. Because like I said, they are going to do pull out all the stops to try to um, break apart the twin flames that are on the planet. Um, I think that's why these shield cards are coming out. Um, you guys hang on tight to each other. Don't let go. And... Spend time with those that are like you. Nobody else. Anyway, the discerning one. Two of scepters. 
Determine your boundaries and define the scope of your own dominion. This is the moment for you to map out your ambition. Exercise discernment before you proceed any further on this path you've chosen. Look out to the horizon and discern whether this is the sea you want to embark from. Decide, do you want a kingdom or do you want an empire? We want the empire, don't we? It's time to usher in the age of Aquarius. Complete, total truth, enlightenment, clarity, faith, hope, and love. The real kind. Wow. <laughs> nice. Lots of fire in that first slot. <laughs> Lots of fire. And then our highest priority to Major Arcana. The Holy See. Key five. When the Holy See appears to you, you are confronting what you have inherited and are now tasked to evaluate that inheritance with individual responsibility. We've inherited quite the effing mess, have we not? Um, but take heed. It's all reversible. <laughs> okay. This is the spirit of sovereignty over your sole purpose. When the Holy See appears to you, it is time to evaluate your material, cultural, and social norms. Discern for yourself whose interpretation of the arcanes is the correspondence that rings true with your divine higher genius. When Key 5 appears to you, take care that you are not following a false prophet. Restrain your indulgences. Oh, wow. That's... That's amazing that that card came out because I was getting ready to do a video today and I haven't done it because I haven't found enough material on on the different types of ways that um, <laughs> this is just freaking me out the different types of ways that there that there are people that call themselves spiritual um, leaders inside even the New Age movement, okay, that are not good. Um, they use all kinds of um, mind control programming, uh, frequencies, all kinds of stuff. Um, I do play uh, frequencies in the background of my videos when I do these for you guys. But I only play ones that resonate with me, that don't irritate me, because there's bad ones out there. And I'll feel it and sense it the minute I turn it on. So I do do that. Like this one is supposed to be to help with uplift your mood. Anyway, um, so I, I definitely don't just slap any one of them on. Let's put it that way. Um, but the video I was going to do was about... Um, all these people that claim to be reincarnated and um, and know who they are but are using mind control pro programming um, there's huge massive channels with several hundred thousand subscribers um, where me and other empaths and others with abilities have sensed and picked up on some odd frequencies happening in the background of the video we can hear it or some of them feel it it depends on what their sensory um, abilities are but um uh so <laughs> it's really weird that this card comes up because i was getting ready to do that very video to warn you all if somebody keeps showing you repeated pictures or repeated um, sayings or um, if they're using any sort of coercion or um, threats, I've seen some of them come out with just straight up threatening people that don't toe the line. 
their it's just and people I don't understand it I don't get it but they don't seem to realize they're being programmed and it's really weird because a lot of them are partially awake so it's sad but anyway sorry to get off on that but on that rant but do be careful um, there there's all kinds of very ugly people out there using very nasty tactics to reel you all in don't let them do that use your intuition if anything feels off in the slightest way get away from it um, we've got enough problems without excess stuff like that right <laughs> anyway <clears throat> so um yeah this card is very re relevant and I was gonna make that video for my other channel regarding that very problem so it's interesting highest priority so they're telling me get that video made is what they're telling me okay I get to drift at nine Gabriel <laughs> okay the seeker this is one of the fool cards spirit in search of science and yes that's me in search of information about mind control <laughs> I have, I'm just sure of it. It's like, I'm sure you guys are doing your own research in different areas too. And they're telling us to very carefully scrutinize our environments because, you know, it's like I told you in the beginning, I feel like they're warning us. They're trying to shield us. Um, yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The Seeker. Beautiful card. This is the fool who seeks answers. Yeah, we do. Who seeks to know. Remember what I've always said on my other channel. Always ask why. You know, um, a lot of people say that the word for uh, the initials of God are YHWH. Reverse it. And the word why, W-H-Y, is there. Always ask why. Always. Okay? And that is this card. Never stop asking why. Okay? Because you'll get your answers if you ask them. And remember, you have a piece of divinity inside of you. That's why you can directly connect. You don't need anybody like this to connect to the gods. Period. You direct connect. You, have, you hold divinity inside of you. You don't need them. Okay? Alright. Back to this. <clears throat> uh, the Seeker Spirit in Search of Science. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just, I'm feeling very passionate about this because I'm seeing it all over the place and people actually being threatened in videos. I'm like, wow, how does somebody get away with doing that? Threatening their lives. I'm not kidding. Not kidding. It's happening. It's disgusting. Anyway. <clears throat> and you know what's really funny is this person pretends to be Jesus. Does that sound like Jesus-like behavior? I mean, look at the words. And the actions and the behaviors of these people that claim to be holy sees. Just pay attention. Use your brains. <laughs> I mean, I know it's easy to get sucked in by some of them, but please, please use your... You know, if they're showing you repeating pictures and they're using frequencies in the background and, and using coercion and threats and tactics that are not... You, you really got to ask why why you always have to ask why okay anyway use the seeker for key zero when divinatory insight is sought when the adept needs guidance midstream along a path or when you seek divine counsel on a material matter so this is highest priority tomorrow so I know what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be getting the video done <laughs> I kind of sloughed off a little bit I got sidetracked today <laughs> by some other stuff so anyway 
mindful of and prepare for. Big. They're protecting our heinies. I feel it. I know it. The Force 8. Key 8. That's so wild how those cards came out, too. It's like, are you kidding me? Here we go. We got the shields again. <laughs> and I, yeah, just wow. Okay. <laughs> the Tamed Lion. This is a spirit of mastery over your own fears. You've, you're awakening to higher consciousness. The Force is the personification of audacity to achieve personal miracles. In spite of all the obstacles you've endured, you prevail, you persist, you domineer. When the beast growls at the maiden, instead of responding with violence or with fear, the maiden shows love, kindness, and compassion. Her loving kindness tames the lion. With patience and fortitude, you overcome the initial setbacks. You are held in high esteem. Okay. And we're back with our shields, so strength. And we'll go with the golden shield first. <sighs> yep, they are protecting us. The Queen of Scepters, you are shielded against those who are sending you psychic arrows of envy, ill will, resentment, someone who covets what you have and who is just waiting for a vulnerable opening to strike. And that's what I'm telling you guys. Protect yourselves. It's interesting because the, the King of Wands is somebody who's got your back. You guys need to go into King of Wands hardcore. Have each other's backs. Camaraderie. Okay? And anything negative that comes around you, shoo it off. <laughs> yup. Anyway. Thus, the golden shield defends you, and the spirit is now making his presence known so that the angelic power of fire can keep you safe. That's right. Fire. Fire all over this reading. Tomorrow's main theme, fire. Okay? Healthy and flourishing. A male ancestor, one from your paternal lineage, can appear to you through the golden shield. And that would be Adonai. <laughs> Our dear Leo at nine. He also shows up on this card. Mm -hmm. Right there. <laughs> All right. And the Ivory Shield. Gabriel. They're watching us. Queen of Chalices. You are shielded against ailments, disease, and infirmity. Malefic energies that can cause malady or emotional afflictions are present in your space, challenging your vitality. And so the ivory shield appears in your path to help you preserve your own wellness. Inscribed around the queen's shield, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Her shield features the Muzadi, a West African symbol of purification and protection. When the queen of chalices appears, you may be experiencing a dark, dark night of your own soul, an alchemical darkening stage of your life path, and she is here to give you shelter, to accompany you by your side as you make your way out of danger. She is your defender as you walk through the Valley of Shadows. Know that she is present. Know that you are not alone in your dark hour. A female ancestor or one from your maternal lineage can appear to you through the Ivory Shield. Okay, guys. So... Yeah, shields up. <laughs> shields up. The force. That's us. That's us. The force. Okay. Remember what I said about these supposed holy men or holy women. Because I've spotted a few of those too that are fakes total fakes and those of you that are like me have spotted them too there's many others that have made comments about the very same ones I have noticed so yeah be very careful of who you let in anyway big day of fire okay so I love you guys hang in there you know this isn't an easy road 
but the age of Aquarius is here and it's going to be magnificent not, not very long from now okay so hang on hang tight <laughs> talk to you later